All right, coach, your guys came out here, uh, 35 points, defense uh, only allowed 21 points. You guys get the win. Win and move on is the name of this time of the year. Just uh, how are you guys able to how are you guys able to slow them down in the second half? Uh, we made some big defensive plays in the second half. We really needed to do that. You know, the wind was an incredible factor in this game. Both teams struggled to throw the ball. Whether you're throwing against the wind or, or with the wind, it was so... It was so vicious that it was it was very hard. So we had to like adjust. And uh, our defense, you know, Adrian Blake made a couple key defensive back plays, um, and to get some stops. And then our offensive line kind of just took over, and we put the game away. Thirty-eight rushes for your running back Shane Eason, uh, two hundred and eighty-five yards on the ground. Uh, what a performance! I mean, you've been seeing this for four. Years. You've been seeing this for a long time, but and now he's elevating the game. But just the spark he gave your offense that you guys needed. Uh, especially after they went down and scored on the first uh, on their first drive. Yeah, when they scored right away, we but we knew they were real good, and we knew we were going to face adversity. You were in the playoffs in Division One. There's no cupcakes in Division One uh, in the playoffs, so we knew we were going to face some adversity. We told the kids, "Hey, win the next thing you can win," and they did that. We we ground out another, you know, at the first drive for a touchdown uh, as a response to make it seven seven, uh, and then we were kind of. You know, back and forth from there in the first half, and then we got a little advantage. We scored and went up by seven at halftime, and we knew that if we could get up by two scores, then that would get them out of there, kind of double wing stuff uh, and into more spread stuff where we were good at, but we think we're better at anyways um, to an extent. Um, you know, and, and it worked out for us. So you know, overall, the kids in the second half, you know, offensive line was incredible. incredible. Last. Um, lastly, you guys are playing St. John's Prep. I mean, you, you're familiar with them. It's scrimmaging them before the season started. Uh, it seems like the past couple of years, this program is when it comes to facing big competition, they always rise to the occasion, especially in the postseason. It feels like these guys have been like knocking on the door, knocking on the door. Do you feel like this is one of those years that they really can make a statement for the throwing football in the state and just how good this this program has been and how good this program is 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 this year? Um. I mean, that's a pretty bold statement. I, I mean, we we kind of just live game by game, you know. You know, I, I'm more concerned about, you know, these kids as people and what they become when they graduate and different things. It's it's nice we're winning, um, but I, you know, our, our program is already on the map. People know that we're pretty good. Um, we're not perfect for sure, and you know, we're just going to try to play St. John's Prep as hard as we can and prep for them, and you know. If, if we play as hard as we can and we execute, whatever happens is what it is, um, you know, and we can kind of hold our, hold our heads up high. But we're going to give everything we have uh, against St. John's Prep, and we'll see if that's enough. All right, Coach, congratulations on the win, and good luck next week. Thank you.